Welcome to Mailman Mondays. Don't have anything else. All right, let's search some stuff I've been buying. Just because I stop uploading some videos doesn't mean I stop buying stuff. I got a lot of stuff everywhere coming. There's a whole bunch of stuff I bought since like mid December. I didn't really get anything shipped to me over Christmas. I didn't want to risk it or anything. But here's some stuff here from PWCC. Some of this I bought there. Some of this I graded and sent there to hold. But I just wanted to, you know, now that I'm in a new location and uh, it's really safe, I feel happy having a lot of bunch of stuff on me. So, you know. Let's show some stuff that I have at PWCC. Some Shinings. Unlimited. I've got these stickers on them, it's going to be annoying getting every single one off, but it's just how it is. But yeah, I've showed off pretty much every card in here before. So there's nothing really too special, so we'll just flick through these. Some of these I did purchase. Wow, they just look amazing <laughs> through the camera. These cases never get never get the best of me. Yeah, there we go. Bought this one. It was so cheap. I swear, if you look in the grow collection, some of those PWCC auctions they just go so low i think this was like a hundred dollars for this dark charizard and yeah i do buy stuff off of there to resell it because it's so easy i mean this is such a nice card it's a tiny little indent there bit of edge wear near mint perfect it's like a hundred dollars got this somewhere in japan already graded psa 9 I went through it before. Condition looks pretty good for a 9, for a PSA card anyway. Generally pretty hit and miss. I'm not too sure why the grade caused the 9, but if anything, maybe centering, but I'm not. Yeah. The only issue I have with PWCC is they kind of destroy the cases. And it's really weird. They take the sleeves off and they just scratch them up. But mm. I got a CTC nine of this, so I'm not sure if I'll keep a PSA nine. I got a whole bunch of raw copies, so I don't really care too much about it. I will probably resell it in the future. So if you want to buy it, hit me up. I guess. Love the old school times. Love, love, love. And a whole bunch of just stuff. This is really loud today. That's more Mewtwo cards. I don't know. I just went on the PWCC block and I bought like every Mewtwo card that was selling. Well, I didn't buy all of them, but I just put like a min bid in and I just got all of them. Some Uniqlo's. Pretty sweet. Pretty nice to get this 9 actually. This is actually... Here it is. Gengar. But this is actually quite hard to get in a 9 grade. Considering the Uniqlo history and I would have paid very little for this. This is one I submitted myself. I, I sent it in bulk a, long, a little while ago, like a year and a half. Got it back recently. I mean, there's no real issue with it, aside from a little corner crease, dent. Oh, there's a little bit there, actually. Is that a hole? No, yeah, it's just a little bit. It looks like this better. That's pretty clean for Uniqlo. I've had like one of the nine before, and it was a real big crease down the middle, so I don't really know how they missed that, but, you know. It's a nice card. Some more Shinings. I love these things. I think it's going to be my goal to get like three or four sets. Love these alt art tag teams. are sweet. Mysterious Pearl bought this off. TCA Gaming. Condition is pretty good for a nine, I think. But the card, the case is like destroyed. So that's just how it is, unfortunately. So I can't really tell if the card is like in insane condition, but I don't know if people don't take care of their cases, man. Just put a sleeve on it. I think this might have been a consignment of his. So can't blame him. What's in this stack? So, now these are all the eight shinings. I bought all these from Probe Steam, I think. Sometimes they just got stupid cheap auctions. Anytime someone's auctioning off multiple of the same thing, it's just... I don't know. It doesn't feel fair to, like, the person selling the item. Like, why auction off four of the same card in the same grade in the same week? It's just... 
Yeah, if you see that, you can always take advantage. Because that isn't like a true reflection of like market price. That is like someone being a silly bum. So I'm just, I'm just packing these away. Put the rest over here. Okay. Oh, love my palms off gaming boxes. I mean, you've got to get some of these if you don't have them. They're so awesome. What's some other stuff I got in there? I just maybe one. Maybe I'll do some sort of collection thing one day. I mean, I just got cards on cards on cards, and I've gotten so many oh submissions back recently from CGC. I mean, if you just look, it's just <laughs> crazy. And oh, I don't know some. I'll show off some of this stuff later. But a lot of this I got. From PWCC auctions, I bought them. I think it's like a hundred dollars, a hundred eighty dollars or something for this Venusaur nine, like a mint nine Venusaur. I mean, sorry, let's have a look at this. I mean, I think this was like I paid like thirty percent of the, this was on the fixed price. I remember I paid like forty percent of the PSA nine price on this. And I mean, if the seller really wants to sell that badly, I'll always buy. But it's got a very clean surface, it looks like. It's got scratch on the case because PWCC are kind of silly. Some edge right at the top there. A few dots down the bottom. But it's got a 9, 8.5 on corners. Makes sense. That corner's a little bit bad. 40% of the price of the PSA 9. I mean, okay. Same condition, except I just get the better. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. This is more of the stuff I've been buying off there. I bought lots of Charizard Blastoise Venusaurs because I can always sell them for a profit down here in Australia. That's just how I do it. I've like six, seven, eight years I've been buying starter Pokemon from the base set and just reselling them as soon as they land because it's just how it is. Got this, got a six, eight. This isn't even the stuff I, like, I really wanted to show off in this video, but I mean, while I'm here, might as well. Shining Charizard. I'll be selling all these Shinings, all the English Shinings, because... I don't know, I, had, I have a full set. I have all the Unlimited and all the first editions, and I just... I get nothing from them. I don't know. I would much rather just have... This is a rough eight. I remember when I graded this. Ugh. That is kind of disgusting. I don't know what to say about that one. If you compare the two, you know, this is a. Graded this like last year, maybe the year before. Eight. It's really bad. It's got all shit all over it. Got some bends at the top there. What is that? You know, I got this. I mean, that's 8.5. But... It's got some little... I mean, it's got some surface issue. But 8.5 surface. The back is relatively clean. <laughs> no, like, dents or... Like, oh, look at that, it's so gross. Like, And this is just, you know, normal. Obviously, you can't compare two completely different cards and grade it at different times, but I don't know, man. You, you come up with it. But, you know, without further ado, let's push this down. Let's show off some cards that we picked up. Um, where are they? I'm going to do a separate video on this, because this card is so awesome, but... Just pull this one out of its box. Oh, here it is. Very special card. This is very special. I kind of just whipped it out of nowhere, but... It's got a little bit of damage there, it's really frustrating. But, you know, just what it is. It's a number two victory decoration from 2017. In very nice condition. Sitting very clean in there. Little trophy case. 
I traded a friend for this. A massive legend friend from Australia. So, shout out to him. Thanks for trading me your card. Hope you liked what you got. But, yeah. I might do a separate video on that card. Because that is very special. That's a very special card. There's like 39 of them or whatever. So, that's probably the most, like the rarest card I have. So, yeah. It's very special. It's worth quite a bit. But, yeah. Could not share it because I really like it. Oh my god. I hate top loaders. I don't even know why I use these things. Oh my god. Bought this No Rarity Dragon and it was $200. And I was like, wow, it looks so good on the photos. And it is. It is good. It is clean. It's very nice. Very light, scuffing. You know, probably get an 8 and then boom. Has a crease at the top. And you know. Wasn't really disclosed in the, in the pictures, so... If you want mint cards, buy graded already. Unless you get something like that magic card, then probably try not to go out buy graded. But yeah, it's frustrating. It's fr it's it is frustrating. I think you're buying a new mint card, two hundred dollars for that. It's all scratched. This is a gold star Pikachu I picked up. It's like five thousand yen, really cheap, really cheap. And I bought this separately. This was like $700 US, probably. Gold Star Torchic. I sold my CGC 8.5 for like $1,300 US dollars, and I bought this one for $700. So that's a good trade-off. I got this one for 15,000 yen. That needed that for my Gold Star set. This is a duplicate, but this one isn't in the great greatest condition, so I will sell this. Put that over there. I bought a bunch of... I bought this collection, collection lot, it all came in a binder. It's got some really special cards I'll show you at the end, but... You know, it had a whole bunch of EX, Horror Lows, all this kind of stuff. Pretty cool, you get a lot of first edition, generally more desirable, so they're easy to sell, but... Yeah, I'm always happy to get this, I don't really care what condition. So, like, some of these are really bad, like, this one is just terrible, it's all damaged, but... I'll process it eventually, I'll sell it as a single, uh, I don't know, I'm, i got plenty of time. Plenty of time. And some of them you get a little bit better condition. Like this one here is... Oh, I dropped it. Butterfingers. This one, yeah, that's a lot nicer. What is that? PCGP promo? That's really clean, that's probably why. It's a promo card, maybe they didn't play with it or something, but... Apart from that... Scratch there. I might grade an 8. 8.5 if you're lucky. So, you know, it's pretty good. I'll put those there. A bit more. I've been going really hard on, like, the mini sets from, like, the EX era sort of thing. Well, this is a little bit later, but <clears throat> kind of like that Diamond and Pearl EX thing. I think the Rumble set's awesome. All unique artwork. It's great. Sometimes you see a sealed pack sell for like $1,200 and I picked up this set, like this Rumble set. And they're all, I mean, they're all mint, it looks like. I mean, there probably will be little dense increases I'll have to go through because that always happens, but this was like 30,000 yen for just the set. I mean, I got lucky because, you know, it probably would have sold to someone else, but not too bad. There's like a print line. On this card cannot see it in the thing it's so small oh yeah they go across that little red ball thing is where my finger is the fire energy symbol goes across there that's crazy but yeah really mint rumble set got it for a good deal so i'll pick it up i bought a sealed pack for like 900 dollars, and then i see an open set in mint condition for 300 i can't not buy that but yeah that's my thought process there Few more of these ex cards they don't i mean they they are all amazing like i, I saw this charizard i was like oh what is it and then i looked at the condition i was like oh my god i can't believe this happened and then like this one and it's not as bad and you know there's a few other good ones but overall most of that stuff's like in the light play area this one's not too bad but then it's got like the dent down the bottom so i don't want to i'm not celebrating too hard i mean i'm i'm happy i did pay a lot of money in, for that collection but you know, I'm not unhappy, because I will sell them as singles. Everyone loves EX cards. 
Everyone loves Pokey Park. It's like a crazy thing. I sold so many singles of these, some light played copies that I couldn't grade, and people just want to make binder sets of them, especially the hollows. They love them. So yeah, this was like 10,000 yen. Picked it up. Deals are out there. You just got to find. There's no real crash. I'm not really seeing any crash. Not in my sales. It's busy every day, as you see. I'm processing all these. I'm, I'm getting there. You know, I'm trying my best. But hobby is definitely not going as bad as everyone thinks. And this is a sealed rumble set I bought. It was eight. Like, this was the 90,000 yen one. So I was hoping that the cards in here were mint condition. I hope so, because I do plan to grade some, get some tens, hopefully. What else was next? Um, oh, yes, of course. I have this. This is going to be a bit harder to show. I'll have to move some things. This is a Battle Road, I guess... <laughs> kind of like a it's a trophy folder but like the card is like a prize because it's not really a trophy because everyone got one so this is a folder it contains the Japanese non holo victory ring I bought the folder just as is just completely empty so there we go it opens up like that and there it tells you all the information the Japanese person's name that came seventh seventh place trophy card it's a prize but pretty cool this is where the card's supposed to go but obviously it wasn't included but these folders are very hard to get sometimes they're actually a lot harder to get than the cards so i saw this folder for oh, fifty thousand yen i figured i have the card already you know what's the point in i can get that folder i'll display it with the card eventually one day that'll be really awesome what else do we have back here I'll leave the big hitters for last bought this. This is probably the cheapest thing I've actually ever purchased. And it's like a 1996 Pocket Monsters clock. I don't really know how to explain it, but when it's working, I think it moves like side to side like that. Whee! It's got the original base set artworks on there, all the jungle base set. Chansey, Squirtle. You know, some pretty cool stuff. It's old, it's cool, it's vintage. It was like $9. I was like a 10 I think the shipping was more than it cost, definitely. You know, that's really, it's really exciting to have that. So, when I'm all set up, I'll, I will display it. And I have this, I bought this, this was 100 and, 100 and, uh, 120, 123,000 yen, 132. Something like that, this is a, this is a box. But it contains the Mega Tokyo's Pikachu figurine from the Mega Tokyo's Pokemon Center. And just trying to get this out. It is a pain. Oh, it's styrofoam. It's the worst. Ugh. Oh. Be really careful opening that stuff, but this thing is absolutely awesome. It is a music box, it's not really a figurine. But let me balance. Let me, I need a stand. Let's use some CGC cards as stands. So that's what this looks like. It's completely awesome. And if we just wind it up like this. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of money, but it isn't just a music box. You know, it, it's a celebration of the Mega Tokyo's Pokemon Center. Opening anniversary, you know. It's some good stuff. I'm very excited about that. I've been looking for one of these for about 12 months. So, they very rarely come up for sale. But 
damage some of the slides from there. Kind of make me a little bit sad. But it is what it is. Oh, I'll thank you away later. And last but not least, this is one of my. I got a big binder here. Bought this from Palms Off Gaming. It contains a few cards, some rare, some not so rare. JR Rally set. I'm gonna go freehand mode with this. Hopefully, I don't show my pants or anything. But it's a top loader binder. It's really neat. You know, it's the worst part about it is matte. It's a matte finish, but they said they couldn't do it because the clear just scratches so much and it's so obvious. Yeah, got some original gold stars at the top there. But probably gonna try and work on some binder sets this year as things aren't too hard to eat come by in mint condition anymore but along with all these EX cards and the gold stars came in the collection with these three crystals and it was like 400,000 yen so I think that was a really good deal so I'm just gonna set you down there I'm gonna have a look at these so I haven't really had a proper look at these cards yet but you know not totally unhappy just to find a Gold, I mean, a crystal Charizard in the wild that isn't completely destroyed. The only issue on this is one tiny little pinhole then, and I'll take that. I will take a very small, very, very, very small dent over any huge crease or scratches or whitening or anything. So I'm, I'm very happy. That's just, that's just me. You know, the other two aren't in. Not as good condition as this, I think. I didn't actually didn't really check. That's the worst part about top loaders is they, they, they don't like center themselves and you push them down. And I don't want to handle the card too much. But I don't gonna pull this one out, but yeah. It's in similar condition. It's actually really nice that one. That's like what a hundred thousand yen for this. This one's probably like fifty thousand. So this one was the most damaged that I know of. It had like little creases in the corners. So I would rather have this one damaged than the Charizard. But yeah, all up, that was like 400,000 yen. I think I did really well on that one. This one here, you're probably wondering. Whoa, whoa you haven't said anything about this. Yeah, I'm getting to this. Purchased this as well. This is a part of my mail day. I thought it was in better condition. The listing photos were extremely deceiving, but... Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. In this case, I didn't lose because I got an amazing card. It is an amazing card. It's one of the rarest cards. It's one of the most desired Japanese promos. It's one of the best artworks they've ever made. It it ticks every box, but unfortunately, this is what it looked like in the listing photos. I was given this photo. So as you can see, that's pretty good. Oh, and I just dropped it. And there we go. At the front, not too bad. Little bit of whitening, little bit of edge wear, but... It's got the, these little folder creases, like you get these on Masakis. This is when they, were, when they were given out, I'm guessing. It's got them on this side too, so it was just like slipped in some thing that was holding it down. It has like another little, it has a crease on the bottom. So, you know, I'm not too sure what I'll do. I don't think I'll grade this because it is what it is when it's not graded. It's still great. I think a PSA 8 or one of these sold for 25,000 US or something, so... You know, I paid like eight grand for this. Even if this is a four or a five, you can't complain too much. You know, it is still a tropical wind at the end of the day. I'm still very happy. I'm just tapping these cards like they're worthless, but they're worth quite a lot actually. But hmm, that's not too bad. There's a few other cards in my binder. This is the KMAX computer error. Come got it from the tournament for participating, I think. It's got the white R at the bottom, a lot rarer than the normal red R. Some Masaki Gengars, some of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I bought this one for like 120,000 yen and now it's like a bajillion more. So maybe I'll show off some of this stuff. Um, I got one of these in the mail today, Championship Arena. I've got two more. They're not all super gradable, they're pretty, you know, average condition. 
my victory orb, my victory ring. That's the one that goes with the folder that I've shown. My favorite pal city, because I'm a Pikachu collector. Another tropical wind. Some gold stars. And I think... Oh, that's not it. And then some... My favorite Uniqlo Pikachu art. I love this one. I got the PSN out of that. Really happy. My favorite card in Pokemon. The Lily Chan. And one of my favorite Pokemon cards also. The Nicole Pikachu. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.